The creation of this herb garden has been a very long journey. It started many, many years ago. In fact, we've, I've been growing herbs commercially now for over 40 years. And we moved here ooh, 36 years ago. In the start, we were wholesale. Then we started doing shows. And that's where I learned to put herbs together to create an exhibit. Then I started creating herb gardens for clients. And then I did a Chelsea herb, herb garden. During all that time, I have grown for top garden designers and I've watched them, I've listened to them, I've been and looked at gardens. And this garden here is all the knowledge I have gained over those decades. It is based on the figure eight, which is the symbol of infinity. It has water, which is calming. And the circular movement of the figure eight is really good if you're in a low mood because you can just watch your feet and walk around the garden. Each petal is a different planting scheme. So we've got evergreen herbs, culinary herbs, edible flowers, pollinating herbs, UK native herbs, herbs who are making tea sets. You name it, it's here. So you can take those ideas away and create your herb garden at home. In this herb garden, there are many of my babies. I call them my babies because they came to the shows with me. This is a punica, a pomegranate. Yes, you can grow it outside. I'm going to be interested after this winter how it survived, but I can see new buds coming, so I am inspired. I started growing this over 30 years ago with my children. We got a pomegranate from a famous supermarket and I said, look at all these seeds. Let's see if they'll grow. And we raised three plants and this is one of them. And it's so special to have it actually in this garden. And it won quite a few gold medals as well. All the soil that we've used in this garden is from our own recycled waste. Over the last 36 years, every plant that has died or has gone past sell-by date, we have actually composted. So it's our compost that we've used. And so therefore, this garden is peat-free. I'm very aware of water. And so we've put irrigation, and you can see the pipes through here. You won't be able to see them when the garden's finished. And this is a drip irrigation, so we can actually just gently water the garden. There'll be no waste. Every single piece of water will be used. When I started designing this herb garden, and I found this amazing edging by steel landscaping, I thought, oh, the colour's great. And then I went to Hampton Court and I saw this beautiful water feature pot um, by Talk Pots. So the combination of that, the edging, the pots with the water feature, and then with the gravel, the gravel gardens, which I've not really spoken about, which are in between the petals, they're really important because our weather in the 40 years that I've been growing herbs has changed radically. We don't have rain anymore, we have downpour. And if you really want to grow Mediterranean herbs, you need to grow them in gravel or through gravel or in a rock garden because they need that extra drainage. So we're going to be growing all our herbs here for the Mediterranean in gravel. Whereas the fleshy herbs, even in this winter that we've just been having, and we planted early, they've done so well, which just shows you, grow native in the right place, grow Mediterranean in the right place, and you'll have a beautiful garden.